It's Tricky Thursday again this week, and I'm your girl Trisha, self reclaim pattern nerd, here to help you with all of your pattern making and sewing questions. Today we're going to be talking about understitching. Ah, I love understitching. It is maybe one of my most favorite machine stitches, just because it's so nice. So I want to tell you a little bit about what it is and why you should be using it on your garments. So understitching is a stitch that holds the fabric that's on the inside or the underside down and underneath. So I've used it on this most recent, my Maisel inspired little crop jacket you can check out on my feed. Also, if you wanna learn how to draft your very own off of a sloper, hit me up in my DMs with Maisel jacket and I'll happily send that over to you. But on her, I did use some understitching, so you can see there, there's a just a, a very close edge of stitching on the under collar of my collar, and so you don't see it on the other side, but I also used it on the inside of my lining and my facing, and the reason, so that's what understitching is, and I even on this case, because I had very little seam allowance, I used it on my hem as well. You see that stitching very close to the edge, but it is not on the outside. And what that does is you can see how it's laying super nicely and you're not seeing the inside of that lining. You're not seeing the under collar rolling out. You're not seeing the inside of the garment rolling out or peeking out and that's what understitching does it's super super handy um, just it makes things look so clean and crisp and nice and honestly it's super super easy to do even if your pattern doesn't call for it or if you're drafting your own pattern it's really easy to just add it in as you're sewing so with this collar when I made this collar I cut out, you know, my top collar, I cut out my under collar. I sewed along, you know, that outer edge so that I can bag it out and turn it in. When I did that, before I attached it between the outer and the lining here, I understitched while this seam was still open and I can get inside. I understitched along this edge and as far as I could get, just as far as you can get on this edge as well. Um, and that <clears throat> really helps you keep it in place. Same thing when I added my facing. I added my facing and then before I attached the lining and closed it all off so I could still get in there, I opened up the edge and did my understitching. I'm gonna go take you over to the machine and show you a little bit more in depth instead of just explaining it. But I will tell you, if you haven't discovered the wonderful world of understitching and how easy it makes everything look so flawlessly and perfect, you're definitely going to want to check it out. So let's go to the machine and I'm going to show you exactly how to do an understitch and you're going to start using it because it's pretty cool. I want to show you about understitching. So if this was a collar, this is just some fabric that I had, but if this was a collar and I was sewing this, let's say I am stitching down this side and this side and I was going to flip it out to be say a collar or something. So I'm going to stitch it like I normally would with right sides together. Now, if the point of this is to flip inside out so that, you know, that is the outside and what it looks like, first of all, you would want to trim and clip your corner here. We won't talk too much about that, but as far as under stitching, now this is hard to tell, but let's say that this is my lining and this is my outer. So whichever fabric is going to be on the underside or the side that you don't want to see, that is, let me make sure it's a little hard. I should have used two different fabrics, <laughs> but um, I'm just gonna do this. This marks my 
under fabric. So whichever fabric is gonna be on the inside or the underneath, you want to, you're just going to kind of edge stitch or coat very closely to that original stitch there and put a stitch that's like an edge stitch or a top stitch on that underside. So we are under stitching is what we're doing. And I'll show you what this looks like. And you just go, it's gonna get a little tricky as you get closer to that corner. But just as you go along, you wanna make sure your seam allowance is pushed towards that way that you're stitching and just continue to stitch as far as you can to get into that corner. And it does get a little tricky as you get closer to the corner and you're not gonna be able to go all the way. But you try to keep it smooth as much as possible and if it's getting too tight, it's getting too hard to get in there, then you stop and back stitch. And what happens, and you can trim, at this point you can trim this seam allowance, but when you flip it out the right way, this, see it's a, just a little tiny top stitch on the underside of, like if this was a collar or the inside of your lining or facing, and then on the outside, it's nice and clean and smooth. And now I have too much seam allowance in there, I would definitely cut some of that out but that is under stitching and you can see it just keeps that seam allowance and that under fabric underneath and makes the top or the outer look very clean and smooth and then I would do the same thing in here see how this underside is trying to roll out right now but let's under stitch that really fast and you can see the difference So now I've understitched that. I couldn't get quite as far. Sometimes I kind of play a game to see how far I can get, but you can see that it's already holding that under fabric underneath and making the top look a lot nicer and cleaner. And I obviously I have way too much see below it's in there. It's causing it to bulk funny, but um, that's how you get things to lay nice and clean using an understitch. Thanks for watching. I'll see you next week.